We've seen it time and time again, the attention and visits when a disaster happens. But what happens in the months that follow? Six months ago, several communities in eastern Kentucky were just wiped out. Homes and businesses destroyed as water overwhelmed those towns. And what the governor called the most devastating flooding the state had ever seen. One nonprofit estimates more than 2,000 homes need to be rebuilt or repaired at an estimated price tag of $600 million. Correspondent Marky Martin is live in Kentucky. So, Marky, where do things stand right now as far as rebuilding? Yeah, Nicole, those floodwaters leveled parts of eastern Kentucky. So my crew spent the day down in Hazard, and you cannot believe the widespread damage that still exists nearly six months later. As you mentioned, entire homes, parts of neighborhoods just swept off their foundations. And so that means for those who survived, home no longer exists. Everything you worked for, you know, your whole life is gone. And... I still have nightmares. Pull off just about any road in Hazard, Kentucky, and you'll find no shortage of those who are haunted. It's going to take money to build back. Nancy Barnett's family has lived on this creek bed for decades, but it's now almost unrecognizable. It don't it feel like home. home. It don't feel like home. Last July, flash flooding devastated eastern Kentucky. Waters so strong, homes and communities torn off their foundations, entire trees uprooted, and families fighting for survival. We had to swim out, and it was cold. It was over my head, so yeah, it was scary. <laughs> In December, the death toll rose to 44. It's going to take years to rebuild, and we continue to, to find bodies. And 176 days later, Homes like Noah Miller's still look like this. This was your bedroom? Yep. He says he's twice been denied help from FEMA. They need to help the people. You know, not, not just me. About 850 locals are still displaced, and the help hasn't come fast enough for a community where nearly 17% of households live on less than $1,000 a month. They're doing what they can for themselves, and, but they just don't have the money to go and buy the materials and, and, or to relocate. Scott McReynolds is with the Housing Development Alliance. He says many have applied for FEMA aid, but in some cases, families are only getting a few hundred dollars. FEMA gets a bad rap and uh, a lot, but it, I mean, they're operating under the rules Congress set. And under the rules Congress set, the maximum any one person can get from FEMA to replace their house is 37.9. So right here is my camper. Um, I got some dogs in the window. We met Eric Combs at his campground. Every mobile home here has been provided by the state to a family displaced by floodwaters. He says he's gotten more support from the kindness of strangers than those at the top. We have a great community here. Everybody really throws in, but in a way I do kind of feel like we've been forgotten by the government a little bit. And we did get a new update this afternoon. 243 families are still being housed in those state provided campers, and then nearly 30 are being housed at Kentucky State Parks. Also, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir releasing a statement this afternoon saying next week will mark six months since unprecedented flooding destroyed many homes and devastated communities in eastern Kentucky. We are making good progress, but there is still uh, much work to be done. He encourages all of those who are in need to call FEMA directly. Nicole. Oh, yes, so many people there who still need help. All right, thank you, Marky. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.